When you're tired of playing high-budget AAA games that give you the nagging feeling that they aren't quite finished, launch your computer and yourself into a world that isn't even remotely close in a Flavor of the Month survival builder that boldly considers what if you could Dracula in RuneScape? The Rising. Rise from your grave in the latest online sensation you know about from some Twitch guy where you'll once again hit trees and rocks until they pop out of a bunch of materials, at least until the sun comes out and forces you to sit under a tree for like five minutes. Because sunlight is fine, I guess, as long as it's not directly on you, making you less of a traditional vampire and more of a really committed goth. Then hit more stuff until you finally have the materials to build yourself a comfy little cabin with no roof. As you fulfill everyone's fantasy of being a vampire lord, by doing carpentry. Because apparently just killing someone and taking their castle would be considered low class. In an experience that's less sexy leather capes and orgies and more apartment hunting and interior decoration. I want to suck your blood, but I really got to finish building the crap shack first. Create the vampire of your nightmares as V Rising hits you with the World of Warcraft style of character design with relatively normal seeming vampire ladies and men who look like they swallowed a human-sized diamond and then did a bunch of HGH. Because apparently, becoming a vampire gives you professional wrestler neck. Then leap into the isometric world of V Rising, where you'll realize that you're actually playing a Diablo-esque action RPG, except where fighting feels like having a sword battle in a pool. And instead of magical treasure, all that ever drops are bones and rocks because fun loot would mess up the part where you stand in front of your crafting tables for half an hour waiting for bars to fill up. You know what? Screw all this. I'm just going to listen to Good Charlotte and watch HGTV. Discover the fiendish gameplay loop of V Rising. Unless you've played Valheim, in which case, it's basically that. As you scour the land for materials and guys to suck off for sustenance and to pay your electric bill, while basically ignoring the blood type system that they don't really explain anyway. Then establish a base camp and build an elaborate castle. Or more realistically, make a big square room you can stack all your crafting tables in, unless you can build a blood altar, at which point the game will tell you exactly where to go. To fight a simple mini boss that would be a cakewalk if you weren't constantly running out of time and having to poke them from the shade. Then get your next vampire ability and crafting recipes, only for you to have to run all the way back to your base, which is of course on the opposite side of the map. Then spend the other half of your time as a wolf sprinting from shadow to shadow like a ginger with no sunscreen because you can't bring anything good with you through a teleporter. Then do it over and over again until you feel the deep loneliness inside of you, which I'm pretty sure has never happened because otherwise, why would there be so many of these games? Blast away at your foes in V Rising's combat, where you'll slip and slide around your foes cutting away and blasting them with a wide variety of spells and abilities until you can suck them off for resources, or just for the quick kill. Then wander slightly too far astray and get your whole butt handed to you by a high-level homeless guy. Or get caught unawares by a mini-boss going wild at half health and dropping one million bombs. And get to walk halfway across the continent to pick your garbage back up. Then, God forbid, you play on a PvP server, where you'll add the wonderful twist of lag to the already soggy combat. Not to mention the fact that the guy you're playing against is an actual vampire, except instead of blood, he drinks his parents' retirement money. So juice those rats and get ready to craft some pans in an unlikely mashup of popular things that isn't the worst compared to your non-undead life, but doesn't really do anything exceptional either beyond its concept that one can hope will get the chance to reach its full potential before people find their next obsession and forget about this completely by release but I doubt it. Starring Sucking off rats Sucking off wolves Sucking off deer Sucking off bears Sucking off ladies Sucking off gentlemen And never getting sucked off in return Vampheim You know, there are only two true hairstyles in V Rising. The Sephiroth and the Mugatu. The immortality is chronic, but this hair is iconic. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. This is madness. This is content! Do you guys not have platinum credit cards? Go dance with an angel, mister. Revenge is sweet.
but watching you in despair is sweeter. The strongest wizard in Final Fantasy is Donald Duck. <laughs>